All right, folks, if it's Friday, it must be time for the following Malsberg panel. That would be Larry Elder, radio host of The Larry Elder Show and author of Dear Father, Dear Son, Two Lives, Eight Hours, and uh, David Swerdlick, assistant editor at uh, The Washington Post, Post Everything. And uh, gentlemen, welcome in the aftermath of the debate. Uh, you were both watched it, I know. Uh, let's start with you, Larry, your impressions. What, what struck you? Was it the, uh, the questioning and the moderators, or was it the candidates on the podium? Kind of both. I, had a, I thought it was very entertaining. About 24 million people apparently watched it. I would not have begun the debate with the question about the third party. Had to be brought up, but I would not have begun it that way. And I think that Donald Trump uh, did not handle it particularly well. What he should have said is, these nine gentlemen have said varying bad things about me. Ask them if and when I win the nomination, will they support me? That would have brought the House down. But to argue that the questions were unfair, as Donald Trump did later on, made him seem thin-skinned. I don't think he served himself very well last night. All right, David, your opinion, your take? You know, uh, this one time, hey, I completely agree with Larry's analysis on that question. I take um, it back. I, I take it back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, I thought that was right. That issue had to come up, but not, not at the beginning. Larry, I totally agree with him on that. Um, as far as the rest of the debate, I mean, the first debate, I thought, like everybody else, Carly Fiorina dominated the first debate. In the main event, I thought Kasich helped himself. I thought uh, Jeb Bush did not help himself. And then as far as Trump goes, yeah, I mean, I know we're going to talk more about him and we'll keep talking about him, uh, uh, Steve, but I mean, whew, you know, I understand why people like his, his tough guy attitude, but the guy just does not seem presidential. Well, here's the, here's the deal. I, I, didn't, I really didn't have a trouble, I, if you want to clear the, the air, so to speak, at the beginning. I didn't have a problem with Brett Baer bringing up that question first off the bat. Um, how, how Donald Trump handled it? I mean, you know, I, I, could he have done better? Yeah. Could he have done worse? Yeah. And then, of course, he was attacked by Rand Paul, which I thought he handled okay, saying, you know, I've given you plenty of money. But um, I think the second question was outrageous for a second question. It was outrageous for a last question with this, you know, you're, you call women whatever, the, the woman. Now the woman, remember Megyn Kelly not said you call women pigs and this and that. One woman you said that she'd look good on her knees. Well, the woman who we talked about, about being on her knees, has come forward and said, it was a joke. She didn't take offense to it. So why the heck should Megyn Kelly take offense to it, Larry? And I think Donald Trump should have responded, is this what you're asking me? We got ISIS beheading people right now. We have ISIS forcing women to, to have sex with them. If they don't, they're executed. We have the worst economic recovery ever in my lifetime. You're asking me this question about what I said about Rosie O'Donnell. Are you serious? That would have, again, brought the house down. I, I don't think he handled it as well as he should have handled it. Good point, David. Well, look, Megyn Kelly is a former prosecutor, and even though she's a conservative, she's not as ideological as some of the primetime Fox hosts. And look, I, I, I wasn't expecting that question, I confess, but at the same time, it made sense to me once she asked it. Look, she laid out her predicate, and then at the end of that, Steve, she did say, "Does this, does this, is this the kind of stuff that's befitting a president of the United States? And that was really the underlying question, and I think that's fair game. Well, I mean, look, you know, we could go into the backgrounds of, uh, uh, you know, if she had Bernie Sanders there, would she ask him about his rape fantasy article? If Hillary Clinton was there and she, or, and she could interview her, would she ask her about facilitating all of Bill Clinton's dalliances when she was first lady and, and, and here, staying and, with him? I bet and, the answer is no, Larry. Okay, but I do and, think and that's Steve, Steve, Wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, David, finish. finish. Oh, no, I was just going to say I, I see your point, and I think those things are fair game. Yeah, but Larry, I don't think she'd ever ask it of, of those people. And Steve, that's all about the debate preparation, and Donald Trump bragged about the fact he didn't prepare. Had he prepared, he would have been ready for exactly what you just now said. And by the way, Steve, did you hear him say single payer works in Canada? Are you kidding me? I did. Single you know, it's funny you say that. I, 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 meant, I did a radio, I filled in for Chris Plant on his, uh, his radio show today in WMAL, and uh, that's one of the first things I said. I said, I've heard horror stories about. Uh, single payer in Canada, you know, the, just ha Sally Pipes, for one, who's written extensively right. about what happened to her mother years ago there. It's just, it's a disaster there. All right, so, uh, so, so briefly, who won the debate, Larry, and then David, 30 seconds each. I think Ted Cruz did really well. I thought Mike Huckabee did really well. I thought Ben Carson was very impressive. And as you pointed out, Carly Fiorina won the first debate. And Donald Trump was not knocked down and dragged out. He survived. He'll come back. He just got to be sharper next time. He's got to raise his game. Right. David? I actually thought Kasich made up the most ground, barely squeaking into the top 
uh, tier. And then now I feel like people see him as a contender. Let me just go back to Donald Trump on health care. Look, everybody's read The Art of the Deal. But in his book in 2000, uh, The America We Deserve, the exact quote is, I'm a conservative on most issues, but on health care, I'm a liberal. Everybody, That's everybody changes and warps. Guys, have a great weekend. I appreciate Thank it. You. Folks, as you know, currently Donald Trump's leading the way um, uh, in most of the uh, polls before the debate. Newsmax has a poll that you could vote on, and I promise you some re results. He's currently leading in our poll 63 percent, 63. The runner-up is Senator Ted Cruz at 9, Marco Rubio at 8, Ben Carson at 5, Mike Huckabee at 4. There it is on your screen uh, with the, the, those, uh, yeah, those are some, now, is that updated? It says 63. Anyway, if you haven't voted yet, do so now. Log on to NewsmaxPolls.com, NewsmaxPolls.com.